What is up, Mouse Fam? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be starting a brand new series, ranking every single land at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. We're gonna go through every single land at Disneyland and California Adventure and rank their attractions, their cuisine, and their entertainment. We're gonna end this series with a magnum opus of all 16, soon to be 17, lands at the Disneyland Resort. Today, we're starting off the series with the land that started it all, Main Street, USA. So, let's jump into it. Before we get started, I want to give a little shout out to Black Panther. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. This is very sad times, so prayers and thoughts out to the Boseman family. Thank you, Chadwick, for all you gave us. Now some parameters before we start the list. When we talk about attractions, we're gonna go by the official attraction list on the Disneyland app and the Disneyland website. Three out of the six items on our list today, we would actually consider walkthrough attractions, but we're gonna include them in the entire list for the sake of the video. With that being said, let's get started with number six, Esmeralda the Fortune Teller. We almost didn't include this one on the list because most don't consider this an attraction, Honestly, most people don't even know it exists, but according to Disneyland, this is an official attraction. Esmeralda is located off to the left of Main Street as you walk in, right at the front of Candy Palace, just between Coat Corner and to the right of Gibson Girl. It's right at the front of the store, but it's still really easy to miss. It's a cute attraction, there's not a lot to it though. We're not huge fans of paid attractions at Disney parks anyways, and there's just not a whole lot to say about this attraction. It's definitely a novelty item for any Disneyland bucket list trip. If you go to Disneyland all the time and you've never done this, it's a great thing to do it once and check it off your list. But once you've done it, that's probably enough for a lifetime. Esmeralda does gain nostalgia points, but beyond that, there's not much else to this attraction. Number five, the Disney Gallery. The Disney Gallery is located right at the very front of Disneyland, just off to the right as you enter through the berm. It shares an entrance with the Disney and a gift shop if you can't find it. This is another walkthrough attraction. It's beautiful and extremely pleasing to the eyes, but definitely not pleasing to the wallet. It's free to walk through and explore, but it's basically a glorified Disney store and none of the items are cheap by any means. It's certainly worth walking through for free, but just like Esmeralda at number six, this is more of a novelty one-time attraction, unless you happen to have a disposable income then you can enjoy this attraction much more than the average Disney guest. Besides that, this is mostly just a short but interesting walkthrough of expensive Disney memorabilia. Definitely worth seeing at least once, but you're probably set for a few years after you've seen it. Those last two on the list are probably just do it once and be done with it. These next four are actually solid attractions. Coming in at number four, Main Street Cinema. Main Street Cinema is again located on the right of Main Street, just short of the Market House Coffee Shop or Starbucks, as most of you probably know it. This attraction scores extremely high on the nostalgia points here. The Main Street Cinema is certainly a die-hard Disneyland fan favorite. Anytime Disney tries anything with this attraction, whether rumors of its closing or forced merchandise sales inside the cinema, people go bananas. Main Street Cinema is a Walt original. It's a perfect spot to get a respite on a super hot day, or if you just have some time to kill on Main Street and you're not sure what else to do, it's really worth about 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Go in there and walk around or just take a seat and watch the amazingly cute Mickey shorts. It's filled with different classic tunes. There are six of them and they cycle them out pretty often. So it's very fun to go in there a couple different times per year. This is certainly on the higher end of the walkthrough attractions as you can enjoy it more than once like we said. But this falls lower on the list of Main Street attractions because there's just not a whole lot to do in there unless you're an OG Disney fanatic. Kids generally aren't too fond of it either. If you only make it to a Disney park once a year or even once in a lifetime, this probably won't be a must see for you. Overall though, attractions like this are exactly what separates Disneyland from other Disney parks in the world. Pure, unaltered Walt Disney magic. All right, that brings us into the top three today. Coming in at number three, the Disneyland story presents great moments with Mr. Lincoln. We almost bumped this one up to number two. It hurts to not have it higher on this list because we think this attraction is extremely underrated. Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is located just past the Disney Gallery on the right side of Main Street. 
It has a pretty obvious marquee out front that's really hard to miss. The attraction itself breaks down into two areas. The Disneyland story being a walkthrough of Disney memorabilia from the parks and movies. Sometimes they do classic movies. Sometimes they have new movies coming in. And many props are cycled out on a semi-annual basis. So if you've been there once and you go back about six months later, you're probably going to see a lot of new memorabilia. There's also some classic Disney memorabilia there, including the park bench that Walt Disney was on when he thought of the idea for Disneyland and one of the original Disneyland maps in a huge form. Definitely worth checking out. The second part of the attraction is great moments with Mr. Lincoln. This is a stage show located at the very back of the building. This is the part that really takes the cake. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln is breathtaking. If you're a fan of animatronics or United States history or just classic Walt Disney attractions, this show is a must do for you. If you've never seen it before, I would recommend not ruining the surprise by watching any videos of it at all. Just go in blind. Your mind will be blown, especially by the animatronic that was built over 10 years ago and this bust of the animatronic was sculpted over 56 years ago. If you're a Disney fan and you pass this over thinking, I just don't wanna to go to a show during my Disney trip, you need to try out Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. It is a little bit on the slow side. The plot could probably be condensed by a few minutes, but since this is a Walt classic from the 1964 World's Fair, it doesn't really need to be altered in that regard. In terms of nostalgia and in terms of groundbreaking attractions, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is a top-notch attraction. It just doesn't quite have the rewritability of the top two attractions on this list. With that said, number two on the list, Main Street Vehicles. The Main Street Vehicles are located at the heart of Disneyland, and there's two stops, one at the very start of Main Street and the other being at the very back of the hub, right in front of the castle. There's a total of four Main Street Vehicles you can ride at Disneyland. There's the Omnibus, the Horse-Drawn Street Carriage, the Old Time Vehicle, and the Fire Truck. Now these vehicles have history, beauty, and functionality. These are actual transportation modes to get down Main Street all the way back to the hub. We don't always do these once we first get into Disneyland in the morning because that walk down Main Street is something else. But if you're coming down back from the hub to the start of Main Street, or this is your third or fourth day at the parks, or you're getting there later in the afternoon, these vehicles are a must do. They only run till about 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. each day, sometimes even shorter if there's an early parade or if it's a super busy day at the park. So make sure you get there in the morning or the early afternoon to ride them. If you love Disneyland, but you've never ridden one of these before, they're gonna give you a completely different perspective of Main Street USA. They're also a perfect place to people watch or just sit down, relax, and feel the slight breeze as you trot down Walt's first built land. Any one of the Main Street vehicles is a must-do attraction at Disneyland, although our favorite is the Omnibus. Okay, that brings us to number one, the best attraction at Main Street USA in Disneyland Resort, the Disneyland Railroad. Located at the very start of the entire park, the Main Street USA station in itself is incredible. It's a mini museum with artifacts and stories to walk around and see. We love to go up there and take a look around, even if we're not even riding the train or if the train is closed for the day. It's also a very underrated area. Not many people go there unless they're hopping on the train itself. So if it's a packed day and Main Street USA is way too crowded for you, you can still usually find a ton of room up at the Main Street station. It's perfect to take a break, look around, or sit down at the top of the Disney berm. This is another great advantage of Main Street USA, and just like number two on the list, it's another great and new perspective to view the Disneyland park. None of that even includes the train ride itself, which there's honestly not a whole lot that even needs to be said about the Disneyland Railroad. If you've been on it before, you already know why this is number one on the list. It's a Walt original. It's breathtakingly beautiful. Kids love it. Grandparents love it. It scores high on basically every single factor of a Disneyland attraction. There's not much more that needs to be said. Disneyland Railroad is easily the best attraction in Main Street USA and one of the best attractions in all of Disneyland. All right, guys, that is our list. Let us know what you think. Remember, this is only part one of our brand new series. The next video, we will be hanging left at the hub and taking a walk down Adventureland and all of the attractions there. We're going to be traveling around the entire park and DCA as well and taking a deep dive into each land. So if you guys are interested in our series, you can subscribe right down below here and follow along to our playlist to the right to see each land ranked. 
We will get to the Main Street USA cuisine entertainment very soon as well. If you want to continue the conversation, you guys can follow us Twitter or Instagram at Ranking the Mouse. Also, let us know in the comments what you guys think of our ranking. How would you rank all six attractions at Main Street USA? We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.